All right. So, to the task at hand. Oh. Location. Well, I figure it's got to be somewhere close to the main hub, right? Because that's where everyone kind of hangs out. Like towards Peter's house, close to the main like hub? Where Evan's thing is would be a great location. Like the, I, I like the idea of this kind of being like a center street kind of thing. Where you can walk out this way and you're like, oh, hey, here's Peter's shit store. And then up on the left, there's Evan's weird temple thing. And then you take a right and it's the arena or the courthouse or whatever. We could do it this way. Like we have all this. You could have the arena literally taking up a good chunk of the right around this area, right? so hard when I don't know where that you're right like you yeah. have you could literally this whole area could be dedicated to us building the arena and then uh yeah 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 what I'm thinking is we uh we continue straight out from the opposite side of the path to the uh temple arena yeah, the temple, and then we go straight out for a bit, probably right to where your pillar is here. Yeah. You'll give uh, give that person some room, pillar cat. And then build it this and direction. And then build, like, oh, yeah, yeah. way over here. And, like, and then way, way over here. over this way. And just, like, make it a, a, a spectacle for when you're riding the rail. Yeah, because then that would, meet, that would meet right about here for this corner of it. And that's about it. That's line. A, it's a massive area. I think that's going to be a sick. Because, yeah, we want it to be a spectacle. If it's going to be a gladiator arena, right? We want it to be like gladiator gladiator arenas were. They were spectacles of the city. So I think I think that would give us that would give us plenty of room for the side to side for the building. Um, and that gives us lots of room underneath, too. So, I mean, I guess the first thing we got to do is just figure out what level of sand we want to go down to. I figure we go down to the same level as this. Yeah, that's it's not a bad level. Because then, wow. then we're kind of even with everything else out here, like Colored Cat's level as well. Yeah. All right, so we have the, out we have the outline cut out. We have it ready. And that is big. <clears throat> that is big. This is going to be a massive build, my friend. Probably going to be one of our biggest builds for a while. Anyway, here's kind of what I was thinking. Something along the lines of there's there's chiseled that sandstone. Yeah. <clears throat> Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like smooth sandstone very much. No, I think it has to be chiseled. And then here's some endstone bricks I think would fit in nicely. We could do, do those as like corner pillars or something. Accompanied by maybe some of these. No, God, please, no, no. Now, do we want to take stick with the typical Roman archway? I think so. Because that was the design of them, right? Was those archways. Yeah. Many unbearable hours later. I think if we combine, <clears throat> we need that. I think if we combine those colors right there, like the, the two woods, the prismarine, and the chiseled, uh, 
quartz and the uh, sandstone. We'll get rid a of that. A little bit of all of that would look good. So just using those right there. <clears throat> yeah. And then... <clears throat> pardon me. Yeah, no worries. And then maybe for like the royal box we can use some red and gold or something. Do I, if we're gonna do red and gold, we definitely need to do red red. Um. Uh, I was thinking like a gold block and red carpet. Oh yeah, 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 yeah I agree. But, uh, that's for later. Like for the general thing, though, I think something along these lines. Like we don't have to use a lot of the dark wood, but I think it just gives a little bit of depth. Yeah, because you're sorry. Oh. Oh. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I can see that. Um, okay, so let's let's get the outside going, and then. Okay, now for the outside. How are we doing this? <laughs> Well, I was just gonna. I was basically gonna ghost the out circle that you have there. <clears throat> yeah, but by how much? Because once we get towards the edges here, we're just gonna. Well, be the edge off. is a pathway, remember? So we'll have it cut thin here, because this is gonna be a pathway from side to side, and the ends are gonna be wider, because that's where the stands are. Or the middle, the sides are gonna be wider, because that's where the stands are. So basically, from here to here, Graydon, from like here to here, will be stands, and the other will be a path, uh, pathway around the arena to the other side, where also yeah, that's here more. and here will be sand, or stands. There, so that's kind of what the end would look like with the pathway. And it kind of mimics an oval. It's not perfect, but it mimics an oval. Yeah, I think that's about as close as we could probably get. I think that looks good. And then it opens up to the stands on the side, and I'll just recreate it on the other side. Just do it! Three pillars of death. Just, that looks pretty good. Just for now, I'm gonna leave this cross in the middle for reference for us. If we're gonna, if we decide to put anything else in the middle area. Yeah. And then you could literally have it like one, two, three, four, five. Five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, 
Yeah, those look really good for placement. For the elevators? Yeah. So basically from like here up is going to be... Do you want that to be sandstone? Well, I was just, I'm just filling it in for now just to see where, so I can get a oh. visual. I was, I was kind of thinking we do something like from the edge, we start to build uh, upwards. We'd have to put some sort of railing here, otherwise it looks kind of... Because this is just going to be the pathway, remember? This isn't the stairs. This is the pathway to get to the other side of seating. Oh. For, this, for the seating, yes, I agree. We're just going to start building up from there. But for here, I was just going to do like a flat, like we'll do one level. Around. And then the edges would go up multiple levels. Because like what I was thinking is if we had this down on the inside, we could just put like, uh, if we wanted to stick, do you want to do the dark oak or the or light oak for the railings? It also do some, uh, some of this. Uh, I feel like that's too prisony it doesn't i don't think it suits it fits the 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 other blocks that we're putting down uh, well isn't it kind of meant to be uh well it is but i mean there's there's that also i i feel like if we're, if we're trying to stick with the the gladiator arena that doesn't fit the style of the arenas i think i like the uh, light yeah because the dark we're gonna put for chair seats weren't we that was our oh fuck well, yeah, that was, I guess, I was thinking if we put, like, the dark for seating, but then we get, uh, the, the light wood for, uh, like, a path up, you know. Yeah, I like that. On the, we wanna... let's, let, I'd say let's yeah we'll work on the stands and then build the outer wall like my thoughts are this like you'd have archways like two or three levels of archways that would go across these out these outer walls the ones that go around that connect them I was gonna say one level of wall so like if we were to do an archway like a da, 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 where's this thing boom boom oops I don't know. I don't know the exact like whatever we have to go for, but say our archways are threes. Obviously, that's not how it would actually look great, and we're gonna fine tune the design of it. Um, and you'd have like multiple, like three levels of these archways, and that would be like our um, outer wall on the stand side. I, like yeah, we'd we'd make them look better like that, but and then we'd have like one sec. Like you're saying, you're saying like just continue off of this side, kind of thing. 
Yeah, like you'd you'd go, you just like put the next one, you just have the next one three blocks away from this one, so it'd start there. And then they would just connect like there. And then my thoughts were that would look pretty cool, I think, is if we had armor stands in each of these archways. I'm thinking we'll have two tiers of seating. You know what I mean? So like if we were to go like this, oop, not that way. Like we'll have our let let's let's how many across do we have? Because we need to have we need, I, I say we have three sections. Is that are those centered? Or that's where those are? Yep, those are those are the sections even with the middle one being a little bigger than the outside one. I just think if we started a little bit further forward, because the stands usually would be ra almost right up against the rail. So I was even thinking if we started like have a one or two gap before the, it gets us at least a little bit higher. It's going to look really dark yeah, if right. you do, if you do just like have another line there. Either way, it looks like the Oreo because even though it's the seats, it still follows that color pattern. coming together it's coming together for the armor on the dudes i was thinking just iron armor i wasn't gonna put anything fancy on them i wasn't i was gonna say you should just leave it as is i kind of like it as is because it's like uh it's almost like skeletons you know could we uh, maybe put helmets on them of man helmets and a sword can you put a sword in an armor set yeah i like the sword idea I think the sword looks neat, at least, because gladiators they didn't really fight with much on, but I think the sword makes it look. Sword on every single one. I'd say a sword, sword and shield. Let's let's look at one that looks like a shield on it. I'm 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 open to shield. I could I could see a shield. Maybe you want to put an axe in some of their hands. We need to find a pattern for any of that. 
So what about that stance? I can't. I don't know how to put shields on them at the same time. You could rotate shield, sword, shield, sword. We could do that. So like that. Now they're alternating and they're alternating up and down as well. Yeah, I'm just wondering if like you can get a position to make it more obvious that they're holding shields. Let me let me let me see here. Is there one where they could be? Uh, you tell me one. you tell me when it's when it's looks kinda good. Yeah, hold up, hold there, hold oh, there. Oh shit! That one. Oh, all right. Well, keep going. I have to. I have to go through the cycle. Oh, that, that's that's weird. That's weird. <laughs> that was a weird one. Yeah, keep going. That one right there. No touch. Okay, so you. T <laughs> I don't know which one that is necessarily. <laughs> We're gonna have to do that for each individual. Yeah, one. I'll tell you which one is, is that one. One, two. Nope. Three. Four. Five. It's the fifth. No, oh, wait, no. That one's, he's holding it up a little bit higher than the, the stair. I don't like how it's going into the block. Six. Seven? Seven. It's seven. Okay, it's seven. Okay. Yeah, I feel like the shield's better. And everyone having a sword. I think that looks alright. Yeah, that looks good. Alright. So one side of the stands is more or less done with the exception of the details inside underneath. Yeah. I mean... I like what you're doing here. This is nice. Yeah, that's what I, I just like... I was thinking... I mean, well, 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 let's, let's just see. I was thinking like we incline we could... up until we get to the... Uh, well, and then the what back, I, you the could do... You could do at the flattish part here, Graydon, is you could have multiple archways that way as well. Like if we wanted to, you could continue the um, this the replace yours with this stuff, the quartz. Because what I was thinking, and bear with me here, I think would look neat is if from this side, and then do archways, do two major archways here. And this middle archway can reach the peak and pinnacle of our establishment. Now, do we want it to be sandstone or the? Uh, no, that's quartz? why I was thinking quartz for the for the entire outside, because it kind of keeps that design on the outside. The inside's the the outside's the grand spectacle, but the inside's the um, the non grand spectacle. Function. Yeah. So do you want to, like, I, I'm still, do you want ports all the way up, or do you want uh, ports to start, like, halfway? I think it'll look silly, because just looking at right this, here. just looking at this right here, Graydon, with them next to each other, I think it looks kind of stupid. Yeah. So I'm thinking quartz in the entire external. Because in the outside's the grand spectacle, inside's the dungeon. Yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. And then have, like, a major archway here, and you can just replace these as we go kind of thing. Want these to be an open archway, like as like you have it now, like no middle archways. I, think I would so. do I would do middle archways all the way down. Maybe you do two instead of three, and just do two bigger ones, or we could fill this we in with could, glass. Uh, I was gonna say we could get some stained glass in there. Maybe we could work on the LC logo on here. Yeah, just we could L and then and then underneath the C. Yeah, we could do that. That would look good. Let's all do that. Let's see at the bottom. Let's do that, I like that.